trout fishers. They ain't got no business coming to our service. Well, it's about time someone invited them, that human being. But it's our service, for our men, lost at Whalen. Well, Zach, some of their folks were stole by the rock. It's just the same as though it was done by an unrushing whale. At least I think the Lord would figure it that way. Well, let them have their own service, in their own settlement. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll learn to memorialize their dead from us. Ah, they're too thick for that. Father, is that the reason you insisted upon conducting the services today? Yep. Figured I had to do it that way, son. I know they couldn't reason with folks like Zack. Dad, should I ask him to come in? Yeah, you do that, Tommy. You poor days ain't wanted here. No. Mr. Caleb Ashley, she ask us for come. We glad to come. No, Papa. If they don't want us, we will not go in. We have our pride, too. Papa talk Rosita, not you. All right, Maria. We go in now. Yes, come in. There's plenty of room. You make this nice day for me, Tommy. You can make it nicer later for me tonight, Rosita. Meet me at 7 o'clock. I'll be there. Same place? Same place. Come to thee in remembrance of our beloved shipmate who died a hunting whale. Take him to thine arms and thy tender mercy. Make us as fearless as they were. And teach us to be tolerant, to know that in thy sight there is no pride of race, no creed, that we are all thy children, working side by side to reflect glory unto thee. Amen. Amen. Let us see. What you say very much. He's a good speech. Speaking for all of us, Mr. Gonzalez. You're very kind. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. And how is little Pedro today? He's sick all the time. Like he hurts much. Where we come from, Dr. Man, he say, Pedro never walk good. Well, that's what the doctor man said about me. But I walk all right. You got new one? No, not new one. My boy Leonard fixed up the old one after I had it smashed. Senor, you think maybe he can fix up Pedro? I don't know. Maybe. See. Si. Oh, senor, you think maybe he can make Pedro walk good like 
just like you. Well, I'll ask him to try. Oh, thank you, Senor. You make me very happy. I want new land. I want foot to walk. Like many more walk good. <laughs> well, Pedro, maybe sometime you do walk good like many boys. Please, you make me walk good. We'll see. We'll see. Hurt? Kind of. Well, this will. Better hold your breath. This pitch is another nerve, but it'll ease up in a minute. I couldn't have stood it a month ago. Oh, you'll be back at an oar in another month. In a fine hospital, they do this with a plaster cast, I suppose, but I've always had good luck with my whalebone. You're better than a regular doctor. Thought I'd never walk again. There we are. Now stand up. Thanks, Doc. Anyone tells me you ain't a regular doctor gets a kick with my good one. <laughs> you come back and see me in a couple of days. And I'm feeling spryer every day. Good, good. <laughs> Lord give you a wonderful pair of hands, Leonard. Sort of makes you feel all perked up when you're able to help a fellow critter, don't it? Well, it does the best, Dad. Couldn't use them to save a little fellow, could you? You mean the Gonzales boy? Yeah, I sort of promised him. Sort of told him that you'd uh, make him walk. You ought to have seen the lad's eyes shine when I told him. What is it, a bad bone setting? No, no, it seems to be twisted out. The lad's sister says the doctor where they come from said it couldn't be fixed. Well, they're not always right. That's right. But take someone who really wanted to see him cured, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't wonder. <coughs> well, I guess I'll get out. I don't want Tommy to see me fussing with his harpoon. You mean fixing his gear? Well, I get a lot of fun out of it. Besides, it helps Tommy. Tommy, I'll chance for some of that grease. I got a thing. Here. You're gonna look awfully nice. Oh, you got it for women. Yes, when the best harpooner in the village starts looking in the mirror and slicking himself up, I guess it's time for an amateur doctor to stick to his pestle and mortar. I wish you'd get to know her, Len. She's a Portuguese, but she's awful nice. Sort of sweet and got brains, too. Her nose crinkles when she laughs. That's the first thing I noticed about her. Well, of course, if her nose crinkles up, I can see why you're in love with her. <laughs> Guess it does sound kind of funny. No, it doesn't sound funny. It's, it's just the difference in our way of thinking. Tell me, I may be old-fashioned, but I don't think you can mix races any more than you can say Portuguese cod liver oil and our whale oil. Nature can. It's been done, ain't it? I'm not interested in anybody else who's done it. I am interested in you. And I don't want to see you get hurt. I'm not going to be. I love Rosina. And she loves me. That's all that matters. Yes, that's all that matters. And Len, if you were in my shoes, I'd bet you'd feel the same as I do. Well, perhaps I would. And anyway, I wish you lots of luck. Thanks. I'm kind of glad to see it my way. I'll sing you a song of the song of the sea for my eye. Father, I'm going to take some pills down to Widow of Flaherty. Oh, and um, I may be a little late. I think I'll stop in and have a look at that Portuguese boy's leg.
want to be thing. They're always so happy. I bought Wilson's land today. Why are you buying? I'm going to build a house. We aren't going to live with your folks or mine either. Oh, I go into this house you give it? Sure. Who else? Maybe that will be nice. It will. Jerry King's going to help me. He builds good houses, too. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you think he does? I not laugh at the Mr. Jerry King. I laugh at the way you make proposed marriage to me. I didn't. No? That is what is funny part. Uh, you know how I feel. Yes. But I also know how your brother feels. Why he don't like me? Well, I don't know. I guess he likes... Well, I know. He says she and Portuguese. Portuguese girl, no good. Well, I am so good like uh, cannot any girl. And I don't want for you or any other man for to say, I am no good to marry your, your, your brother's brother. Don't get mad at me. I like you even if you are a Portuguese. No, you see, you say too. I like Portuguese girls. Well, I, I, don't, I don't like Portuguese girls. I, I like one girl. You, Rosita. I want to marry you. That is different. Now, for the first time, you said you want to marry me. Is it all right? I think so. If you love me, maybe I will marry you. I do. Then why you not say so? I am. I did not hear it. All right, Rosita. I love you. Now I know. Now I'm glad. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, that settles it then. Now you settled it. What you do now? I'll show you how to build a house. So pretty. Oh, my Tommy, you are so strong. You're a brave little man, Pedro, and I'm going to help you. I want to walk. Yes, and you're going to. Dr. Leonard, you think it is possible you will make for Pedro walk? I think I can. It's all right to tell Pedro. He's just a little fella. But, Doctor, you tell me truth. He'll walk. I believe you. When you say it is true, I believe it stays true. Let him get some rest now. See, huh? carry on, Maria. We do just what Doctor E say, huh? See, See. Why you come to home of no good Portuguese? Rosita, Dr. Leonardo, he come to... To try to take Tommy away from me, I know. But he no can do that. Tommy won't marry me. So, whether this man likes it or no, he is going to have sister, Portuguese sister, me, Rosita. Rosita. Dr. Leonardo, he say... I do not care what he say. He say little Peter is to walk. Oh. You said that? You will make him walk? I think I can. Oh, Dr. Leonard, please, please forgive me for uh, what I've just said. I do not mean everything. If you can make Pedro well, you are good man. <laughs> My little Pedro. Rosita, I gotta walk. <laughs> yes, soon you walk like other boys. <laughs> we play. Rosita, she's so <laughs> My little Pedro. <laughs> no. 
he's, he's going to be all right. Have a regard. Have a regard. Feel that. You know, the heart of a whale weighs 900 pounds. Think that'd reach it, Rosita? I think maybe she'd go all the way through here. It had better. A good whale's worth almost 4,000 in oil alone. What'd they do with this oil? Oh, use it for lots of things. Watches. Helps keep the whole world on time. Oh. Everybody say you are the best harpoon men in the village. That's why you are best. Well, how did I get you? Maybe she is because you say, that is girl I want, I... I take her. You're all right, Rosita. And I think you're going to be very happy with me. That is nice. You just say to me, you're going to be very happy with me, Rosita. And like that? Like that, I will be happy, eh? Well, you're one very good harpoon man, but a very funny lover. Gosh, you're the first girl I ever even kissed. That is something every girl likes to hear. What's that thing? It is no thing. It is amulet. We Portuguese give this only to men we love. To wear on the neck. What good does it do? To protect you when out in the boat. And as how poor she's missed those whales. Then I don't need it. <laughs> I never miss. Rosita, trying to make yourself good looking? It would take more than looking in glass for you to do that. Well, you know, I ain't no lover. I'm a harpooner. You're the only one that thinks so. Well, I'll bet if my old man picked them in, I'd be doing the harpooning. Yeah? When you can throw like that, maybe my dad will give you something more to do besides pull an oar. <laughs> Why, you... Now look in this glass. For first time, I like where you look. You better get him out of here before he gets sore, and then I might even fix him so he won't be able to hold the job he's got. You were looking for it. I'll keep your mouth shut and come on. <laughs> it's easy for to see why everybody loves you, Tommy. <laughs> sure it is. birds are feeding. There's a run of herring. There's whale around. Let me look. I see. Tiny, keep a sharp lookout. There's whale around and I've got work to do. All right, Tommy. Pedro, without them. I know, Fred. Rosita, Rosita, look, look, I know, Fred. Of course not. Just keep coming to us. That's it, you can do it. Soon I run, Doctor. Yes, soon, Pedro. Easy, easy now. Get up, son, get up. My little Pedro. 
him alone. Come on, Pedro, faster, faster. Now, Rosita, we can play together. Soon, soon I run. Yes, yes, and I'm going soon we run. <laughs> you always could run, Pedro. You said I could. You, you make miracle, Leonard. Big 
Don't we always sing when we get a whale, Dad? Never cut the line, never stay. Oh. What? How does it go? Talked and through. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Sing her out. Sing her out. Sing her out, man. Oh,
Might as well cut it off. I don't seem to need it. I feel all kind of lopsided. Always keep wanting to reach for things with that arm I used to throw with. Well, that's only natural, son. I know the fella once that uh, writ the finest hand he ever seen. Lost his hand and want no time before he was writing with the other one. Writing's one thing. Harpooning's another. I'm just one-sided and no good for nothing. Oh, what you talk. Well, Tommy, the thing is not to get to thinking one-sided. I guess this one will be strong enough to hold you. But Tommy, it takes, uh, it takes the men in the boat that's uh, most important. Now, we all share alike in our whaling, don't we? Yeah. But now, that's just the point. As a harpooner, you was also a lookout, wasn't you? Sure. Well, now, I was just thinking that uh, instead of being the king in the bow of the boat, you could be the, the lookout up on the hill, uh, watching for all of them. Would you, son? I guess I could do that if I lost both of my arms, wouldn't you say? Well, you'd still be a doing your share. You'd still be a helping. But, Dad, if I couldn't figure that, even a one-armed man's job, you wouldn't blame me, would you? No, and I ain't a saying you should. It was just a thought. I know. You don't want to hurt my feelings. You're trying to make me feel good. You all are. I thank you. Well, that last whale made Zack number one harpoon man. I'm going out toward a hope and I meet that number one man. I still think I'm better than him with one arm gone. Steady, son, steady. I'm sorry, Dad. You know the fellow I like? The one you knew who, who learned himself to write with the other hand. Guess I might as well pick him up again, see if I'm learning to write all over again. That's right, son. That's right. Rosita. My grandfather. He was a fine man, Rosita. He died saving others. Then I love him. Because you love him. He was doctor too? No. Oh, like me, he just had a sort of love for it. If he were here now, he'd tell me that you and I must do what he did. What? Not think of ourselves. Think of Tommy. But, Lena, I love you. I will tell Tommy. No, Rosita. You mean, loving you, I must marry him? You promised to, didn't you? Yes, I know, but I... I didn't know you then. But that's not it, Rosita. You see, Tommy loves you. I love him. He is my... My friend.
Look at me, Rosita. Now smile. Now laugh. <laughs> what do you think? I am monkey on stick, I do trick? No, Miss Gonzalez. I am no think that you speak monkey on stick, you do trick. <laughs> That's it. I wanted to see your nose tinkle. Oh, what did my nose tinkle? When you laugh, it does. That's the first thing I noticed about you. But you don't laugh lately. Did you know that? I never noticed her very much. I have. And I've been wondering. I never was much of a fellow to say a lot of things I felt way down inside. And it ain't easy now. What do you wonder from? You. The change in you. You seem to be looking for something or someone ever since I came back all busted up. Is it because of that you'd rather not, you know, marry me? No. I marry with you. But do you want to? Yes, I want to. As much as you always did? Just as much as I always do. Not so you're sorry for me. Oh, no. I wouldn't have that. No. I marry with you. I make myself good wife for you. We have a big party and tell the whole village. Because you love me? Because I love you. Oh, I'm glad of that. You know, I once told you that you were the first girl I ever kissed. You never told me. Am I the first man you ever loved? I can tell you the truth to that. You are the very first man I ever loved. Now I'll tell you something. Your husband ain't gonna be no shore whaler man. I'll soon be as good as I ever was. Come on. I'll show you. It sticks! It sticks! I know I could do it. Same drive as always. And it won't be long before I'll be planting that iron between the ribs of a whale. Oh, I am very happy. You, you have much, uh, what do you call him? Uh, courage. No one's gonna ask me for my speech. I ask myself. <laughs> one month from tonight, Marie and me is going to have new son. That's going to make Marie and me very, very happy, papas and mamas in law. <laughs> I made good speech, mama. Very good, but it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> I know everyone is here. She like to hear something you say, huh? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> there are no two people I could wish. More happiness to them, Rosita and Tommy. My father welcomes her as his daughter, and I welcome her as my sister. Now, we all like to hear something from Rosita. Yeah. 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 No, no, I, I cannot make speech. Then you dance, Rosita. Rosita, please do dance. If Rosita doesn't want to dance, why? why? Come on and dance, Rosita. I'd like that. Oh, yeah. All right. I dance. You play. It is easy for to dance when the heart is so happy.
matter? I don't know why I cry like that. Maybe it's just because I'm so happy. Too much excitement for Rosita. I know the women. I marry three of them. <laughs> Taking your place as Harfooter makes me feel real sorry for you. But seeing as you turn Portuguese, well, cop fishing ain't so dangerous. Zach, you haven't taken my place yet. Can you hold me close, please, Leonard? You must be brave now. It's not easy for to be brave. Everyone is safe. You are so happy. I lie to them. I say I'm happy, but I think my heart is like a big stone. I know, dear. I know. You know, I love you, not Tommy. I know I promised to go ahead and marry with him, but I know can do it. But you must. You love me? You know I do. That is what I want. That is all his matter. But this can never be. All our lives we'd be sorry. All our lives we'd think of. We can't. And Tommy must never know. He must. If then you know love me, at least I know I have not been the chief. It's woman's reason, I know, but that is what I do, and I do it now. Rosita. There's nothing more you can do now, son. I'm going to build him the finest house in the village. There aren't many girls who stick by a fellow who is a cripple. He's no surprise for me. Rosita's kind of good. Once she make up her mind for do something, Never gonna change. I was worried, though. And I told her I wouldn't hold her to her promise if she felt any different. And she say, no, I love you. That's all that is matter, isn't it so? Maybe she didn't know how much it meant to me after I'd lost this. And I wouldn't have cared about going on any longer either if I'd lost her, too. If you know Rosita like I do, you would not ever worry. She loves you very much. And Sebastian and me love you like our own son. Thanks, <laughs> Mother. Leonard. He goes this time. Leonard? I must give this to Leonard so he comes back safe. But I know he never come back to me. Leonard to you? Mama, please try for to understand. Well, I learned to write all over again. He's two men. He's two men. Oh. 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 
Lock your head away. I hold baby.
girl. The teams are all open. Then I get forty people. They go. Come quick. Si. Well, they will smash. Si. Smash. Oh, si. We get out, okay? Si, si. Hermano, lo tengo. It is amulet. We Portuguese give this only to men we love. Oh, my Tommy, you are so strong. You, the changer. You seem to be looking for something or someone ever since I came back. Oh, busted up.
our Memorial Day, again we come to thee with humble heart. And folks, if we can just try to figure that our boy, Gabe, Flute, and Tommy, is a watching us, and a hoping we ain't a question them as to just why they was taken from us. I think we'd be a doing our part to make it easier for them when the names is writ in the great log book of the Lord. Amen. And it'll please them too to know that them we ain't been so kind to here was the ones that found them and brought them back to us. And that all feeling of race and creed is now forgotten. And we welcome them all as our friends, our brothers. 